now that we've got it all modeled up I'll bring up a picture which is the real image of what we're actually looking at there and you can see that my drawing is a, a reasonably accurate reflection of it so from there we can start to look at what the camera can and can't see now because we're looking at uh, how different lenses and different megapixel camera levels will affect this image I've included in my drawing a chart which I'll just zoom in so you can see it a bit better there and what this chart shows us is at different electronic zoom levels what the effective megapixel range will be now this has been worked out based on the fact that every time you double the zoom you quarter the resolution the inverse square law for those of you who like your physics so if I start off at my 5 megapixel there's my pixel count horizontal and vertical two times I've actually dropped down to a 1.2 megapixel straight away so effectively the same as the 720p high def camera at four times I'm in VGA resolution which is pretty much the same well it's actually slightly lower than a 4 SIF camera and when we get up to eight times we're down around the SIF resolution so you're probably quite surprised by that but we'll use that as the basis for working out the actual lens capabilities and camera capabilities so now working with our 5 megapixel camera what we want to work out is exactly what point we can get person identification at because that's the core thing most CCTV applications are used for so we've got a person here at roughly 7 meters from the camera another one at 20 meters and then right at the back there are the vehicle at 53 meters so using the the inverse square law I know that my formula lens which has given me that roughly 61 degree view that we start with if I make that an 8 mil lens my scene is effectively an electronic zoom of two times so although I'm saying 8 mil I'm just simulating electronic zoom but I need to reduce my resolution to match that now just note where the identification area is if we now change that to the resolution for a two times we've lost all ID capabilities at this stage we can only recognize a known person observe them or monitor that there's someone in the scene we do that again we're going up to four times so we'll simulate a 16 times lens and we'll drop down to VGA quality so our area of recognize is getting much smaller and repeating it again going up to 32 mils or an eight times we need to drop down to SIF resolution now at SIF we don't have even the ability to recognize a known person and we're still quite a distance back from that 40 meter point so where we had a person who's now disappeared off the side of the scene roughly here at the 20 meter point it still doesn't meet a quality that we could say by Australian standards that we could recognize them so at what point do we need to go up to to start to get the detail so we'll keep on narrowing that lens and you see the further in we go we just don't get to a point where we can actually identify a person and bearing in mind as I did that I should be lowering the resolution as well so as much as um, a megapixel lens has its application in longer distance scenes it just doesn't do what people expect it to do so what's the real answer for these types of scenes from the way I like to look at them if we go back to our 5 megapixel and the 60 degree wide scene I would put a secondary camera in there so we'll just go back over to my site plan We'll put a secondary camera in the same physical location so we'll pick that one up and move it down to here rotate it so it's looking at the same spot and I would make that a much narrower view so let's say it's a, a 25 mil so we're looking right up at the roundabout maybe that's a bit too tight just take it out a little bit so something like that swing it around so I can see this person in the scene there we go 
Now my ID is right down here. We're at 5 megapixels still. Let's bring that down to a more conventional camera, something that we can manage bandwidth on, and have a look at it. So we can see that I have identification, sorry, recognition region, but no identification at that resolution. So the way I look at these scenes is more cameras at a lower resolution, but tighter lenses will give an overall better coverage and better results.